Alright. So this is going to be my Rosalina and Luma anti-guide. Alright. Here we go. So, guys. In Smash history, I'm pretty sure you guys remember the Ice Climbers. A duo character. Very difficult to deal with, especially with their chain grabs and the such. Well, Rosalina, I wouldn't say is like Ice Climbers. She is a duo character, but she's a lot different, and I think Luma's actually treated as an item rather than an actual character because you can't control Luma the same way you did with Nana. Because with Nana, you can do everything that the, a the uh, main Ice Climber can do, which is Popo. In this case, Luma can only really do smash attacks, tilts, jabs couple specials she has a different well it has a different move set than Rosalina um <clears throat> generally when I'm fighting Rosalina I it's annoying cuz when you hit Rosalina you have the chance to get hit for hitting Rosalina you can get punished for punishing and that is super annoying it, ah, I can't stand it so when you're fighting Rosalina let's get to her tilts her tilts are really fast. They have a lot of priority, are really fast, so you really want to respect them. It's, so, what I like to do is, when Rosalina's tilting at me, I do what Zero Suit Samus is doing right now. I stand in place and time. Timing is strict when you're about to punish her for doing a tilt. So, you have to have that timing down. I punish her at the end of the move. And why? It's, it's really important. Because, yeah, I can punish her, but if I'm even close to like not prepared by a millisecond I'm gonna get hit by the tilt or punished so it's really important that you wait it out and uh when she's doing up tilt when you're above her this isn't too hard to get away from but just know it does have some range especially if Luma is on the stage so be able to space yourself away from that <clears throat> she has a crawl but to be honest that's not too useful in my opinion it's good for ducking things, but she can do a down tilt out of it. So be ready for that, just in case. Now, I feel like Rosalina will succumb to characters that can approach her and get in her face fast. You want a character that can rush Rosalina down. If you get a character that can rush Rosalina down, you put an amount, uh, amount of pressure on her that she really can't handle. Because, let's face it, Rosalina in, does not have a landing. She doesn't have a landing option. Not really. So... When she's above you, you want to destroy her. Destroy her. Look, I'm getting close to the camera. Look look at my face. When she's landing, you want to destroy her. There you go. So when I fight the Buzz, for instance, when he's above me, I'm juggling him. I will juggle him for as long as I can and try to punish his landing with an up smash. Because if he air dodges, he gets put in landing lag from the air dodge and I could just kill him if he does that so he doesn't want to air dodge to the ground he wants to try to land but let's face it landing with that you can react to kill I just up smash him with Fox and he's dead now while she does get juggled her on stage presence is so good because she has Luma now my advice to you when Luma is in a state such as this dodge it don't challenge it, don't try to fight it unless you have a character that can reflect it. Dodge it, jump over it, get away from it. Now when Luma's stationary like that and you want to go in, go ahead. But be careful because if she anticipates that, she'll just send Luma to hit you. So you want to hit Luma as much as you can. Try to kill Luma at all costs. If you can't, don't worry about it. And when you see Rosalina coming in to try to save Luma... You immediately stop hitting Luma, run in, rush in, grab Rosalina, or hit her. Because most of the time, Rosalinas are going to shield. Because they want to punish you out of shield with a grab or with an attack. If you grab them, not only do you gain stage control from throwing them, but if you throw them above you, they're in the position to get juggled again. And that's what you want. You always want to keep Rosalina above you for as long as you can, because she has a hard time getting back to the ground. I can't stress that enough, guys. So, when Luma's away from her... You want to avoid that, beat Luma up for as long as you can, and then punish Rosalina for coming in. Or if you want to mind game them, you just jump over Luma and go straight for Rosalina. Because now all she can do is really just hit you with her tilts and the such. And that means that when she shoots Luma that far, you definitely want to go for Rosalina if you're not going to fight Luma. 
because Luma's far away, and while she's getting hit, she can't call Luma to her. She can only call Luma back to her when she's in a neutral position or she's not being damaged. <clears throat> now, in terms of edge guarding, you want to be very careful versus Rosalina because she can edge guard you with fair. She can definitely edge guard you with dare, and that's dangerous because not only does it stage spike, it spikes. That move is very good off stage. So at all costs, when you're off the stage, you don't want to be, you don't want Rosalina above you when you're off stage. Let's put it that way. On stage, you want her above you. On stage, nah, chill. Uh, back air is good for edge guarding, but these are all moves that can be avoided. And what I want you guys to do is take advantage of her up B. Her up B has no hitbox and it has a set trajectory. Whenever she she can angle it, but that's it. It's set in that trajectory with no hitbox. So literally, you can run off stage and if you're good at timing, spike her. You can spike her out of that. Also, you can hit her before she even snaps the ledge. If you watch me versus the Buzz when I beat him with Fox, you could see that I down tilt Fox's tail. I down tilt the ledge and it hits the Buzz before he gets to grab the ledge. It's such a good. It's good. Because when you at higher percents, that uh up that down tilt at the ledge pops Rosalina up, and I'm able to just put on an immense amount of pressure at the ledge. Versus Rosalina and Luma. <clears throat> now her grabs are really good, and I advise you guys to really watch out for them, because really Rosalina, I feel like Rosalina's right now at least bait approaches, so they love to do pivot F tilt, pivot down tilt. Like they like to run away and while you're chasing them just react to what you're doing and punish you for it So be wary of that every time you see them stop or turn around just wait or back up This is why this is why this character is very annoying to fight because those tilts are so fast So it's like even if you know yeah, I'm gonna avoid those no problem. It's still hard to get in <clears throat> So this is why I feel like rush down characters Fox not Little Mac because of his uh, recovery. If he had a good recovery, oh, he would be so good versus Rosalina. This is why I feel like Fox and faster characters have a better time against this character. Because not only do they have a projectile that is going to force approaches, they can just run in. And when they get in on Rosalina, they can destroy her. My pet has beaten full once, almost beaten the cat in Salem. I don't even know who you are, my dude. But... When it comes to getting juggled by Rosalina, guys, don't uh, don't really fret too much. This move is what you want to watch out for because it has a lot of vertical range and kill potential. You'll be surprised how early that move kills, guys. So respect that. Um, when it comes to fair and back air, yeah, she can approach with that. But you shouldn't be getting hit by that too much. This, watch out for that move because it deceptively has a lot of range and it stays out forever. Literally forever. Oh. And this is really important. When you grab Rosalina, <clears throat> throw her immediately. Do not pummel. When you grab Rosalina, just throw her. Because when you're while you're in the throwing animation, you can't get hit by Luma. If you sit there and pummel her, she's gonna she can hit you. She can hit you with Luma, and that's what you don't want. This is why it's important. Like Diddy Kong's, for example. Now I see when they grab Rosalina, instant throw. There's no pummel. There's no nothing. Grab throw instant and then they just follow up because now she's in tumbling animation and she can't send Luma to like hit you now Luma eh, you want to respect Luma I'll say that right now in some cases I feel like Luma is stronger than Rosalina so you want to watch out for those smash attacks you want to watch out off stage for Luma's dare because Luma's dare will send you flying even at low percent it has good knockback so Use your character's tools to maneuver around Rosalina off stage to avoid those moves. And on stage, it should be relatively easy to avoid those smash attacks and heavy hitting moves by Luma. Because when you get hit by Luma, you're essentially setting yourself up for failure. Because Luma not only does a lot of damage, but Luma hurts. Luma can net early KOs. You have to keep in mind, you're fighting two characters, not one. So you always have to focus on both characters the whole time. Oh, what's up, Toxic? You changed your name. Now I understand. <clears throat> Trying to think if I left anything out about Rosalina. Oh, okay. So her weight. Her weight. She is one of the lightest characters in the game. And this is beautiful. Because like I said, she has a hard time landing back on the ground. 
so the more damage you do to her every percent counts because that can net in an early KO Fox is, Fox is able to kill her like 90% with up smash that's beautiful because she deserves to get bodied this character's annoying guys um respect her jab her jab is very good like even like she can trap you between her and Luma or she can just knock you away it's so it's so good it covers so much range annoying annoyingly good dash attack is kind of a swoop see that so you could just shield that don't try to challenge it because I think it beats like most things <clears throat> generally the star bits you want to react to those just shield them there's not much you can do to those besides really shield them and maneuver around them but they don't have too much of a large range so that's okay and that's pretty much it against Rosalina guys so what I advise for you guys to do is to rush her down and when you're in, get in on her just react to those tilts and punish them accordingly and they get slower characters I feel like we'll have a very hard time fighting Rosalina because even if they do get in they're slow so <laughs> most of the stuff they do is gonna take a while to come out and she can just react and punish accordingly so slow characters I feel like are gonna have to really rely on reads hard reads to really beat Rosalina other than that guys that's gonna be it for the anti Rosalina guide hopefully you guys picked up some tips against Rosalina and general mindset I go into bracket when I fight Rosalina is juggle juggle is the one thing that comes to my mind because I wanna juggle her for as long as I can and Fox allows me to do that Ness can do it Ness is actually a good candidate for this matchup and a tip to all you Ness players when you see Rosalina charging this move bat it hit it with the home run bat time it and she'll have lag at the end of shooting Luma out but Luma when hit with the bat will zoom back to Rosalina and net an extremely early KO because not only does the move speed up it will destroy her it will it it gets more power more knockback that's gonna be it for the anti Rosalina guide I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section on my YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. So was that helpful, guys? Man, you said both of the guys I wanted you to do. Good work, Nakat. Oh, wow. Yeah, sorry, guys, if I don't choose the character that you want me to do. I have reasons for why I don't. One, I can't get to everybody. <laughs> Two, some of these characters I really don't play. So it's like people are asking me to make a Sonic guide. I can't, uh, I can't really do Sonic because my Sonic knowledge is limited. I know how to fight Sonic, but, like, actually how to play Sonic... I'm not the guy for that, but why I'm waiting to do a Sonic guide is I can hit up a top Sonic player and have them collaborate and help me do the guide so I can apply the knowledge they give me into doing a Sonic guide, guys. 